What's up YouTubers? Today I'm going to show you how to change most of the bulbs on the exterior of the 99 through 2004 Honda Odyssey. I'm going to start on the ex on the rear and with the top rear. Now, this process is fairly simple. All you need is like a flathead screwdriver. Get this off of here. Now, a plastic, uh, I think it's called a plastic, uh, prior or something, a tool opener, I don't know. It's plastic and it's really hard. I would recommend using that so you don't accidentally crack, uh, this, um, plastic right here. But since it is Honda and Japanese and not American crap, like Chrysler, it shouldn't break if I use, like, a hard flathead screwdriver. Now, there's a little place to insert your uh, screwdriver or flat plastic piece of cramp thingy and you push it in there and push it to the left and it should pop out By the way, these bulbs are about 10 years old. This is a 03 Odyssey. And none of them are burnt out. I'm just trying to replace them to make them brighter. These are Stanley bulbs, by the way. And Stanley, um, what does it say? Stanley, um, plastic facial covers. There we go. Alright, it's on the floor, it's not broken. Put it right there. And then there's a little Phillips number two, it looks like, but I'm just gonna use this flat head because it'll fit perfectly. And untwist it. Now I will even though if you're watching this video on learning how to replace the bulbs there's really no what no reason for me to list what bulb you need to replace it with but I'll go ahead and put it in the description just to be nice so I guess you can go ahead and buy the bulbs and then learn how to uninstall it so here's a fill up screw put it right there again and then you just pull it out now there's a little um hook right there you just try to pull it to the right and then pull it out and here you go. And I want to want to like get a hose. Well, maybe not, because it's a little dirty in there. But you just twist it to the left or right, whichever one, and pull it out carefully. And once again, I'll list the bulbs in the description. But here you go. You just pull it out right here. And this bulb is actually. I'll just list it. This bulb is a. Uh, 921 but the socket fits perfectly with those wedge bulbs and wedge bulbs I mean like the 194 and the like 168 I think which is like half the size it'll fit perfectly in this socket but I wouldn't do it because it's probably not as bright as this bulb so that's how you replace that bulb you put it back in there and then with the new bulb I'm gonna replace it later and then re uh, reverse the process put the screw back on there all right and now it's for these bulbs it's really really simple I'll put this on the floor first all right open the trunk and then um this would probably be easier if you're like have it half closed or inside the trunk or something and then have have the trunk holding itself once again get your flathead screwdriver and pop it like that and then there are two bulbs right here this is your reverse lamp and then this is your parking lamp up here uh oh right here this this is the same exact bulb that will fit on the um 
third brake brake lamp, like I said earlier. It's like half the size, but it's probably not as bright. And there we go. Let me plug this back in. All right. Same thing with the other side. And to replace these bulbs, the brake lamp slash parking lamp turn signal. It's pretty simple. Once again, with the same exact screw or the yeah flathead bit or whatever, you stick your um, screwdriver in this little. You no, know I'll do it on this side. Actually, this one isn't that much better. Stick it into this little indentation right here and try to pop it open. You have to bend it just a little bit. And yes, it will damage it because it's plastic. But you can try as hard as you can. It will be or try as gently as you can. You probably won't get it out without bending the plastic. That's what happened on both sides and on the bottom too, a little bit. But that's just how it is. You can't keep it new forever. It's not like nobody's anybody's gonna see anyways, but um with the same exact screw again, I don't need to change it to a Phillips. I just use this flathead screw, unscrew it. And there's a washer that comes out with it. Put it right here. Same thing with the bottom. And unscrew it. These are the same size so you don't have to worry. And then, now you can see it moves out. Do you want to wiggle it so it moves first because there's a lot of dirt and all that that makes it stick so it won't be, it won't work right. Sorry about that guys, memory card filled up so I had to delete some photos and videos but we're good now. Alright, so once you remove those two screws, wiggle it so it gets free to re release the dirt and all that for the past 10 or 12 or however long these awesome bulbs last. Thing, and they can last longer. Once again, I'm replacing them just because uh, so I can replace them with new ones and make them a little bit brighter. So once you get that loose, you want to get something soft or like a plastic crimping tool or something. Since I don't have one of those, I'm just going to use a soft piece of um, paper towel. You want to stick your plastic crimping tool or your screwdriver into here for um, so you can knock it out of the ball and socket joint. So I'm going to go ahead and put the paper right here, hold the camera, and find that spot. Here it is. I found it. And then I'm going to move it to the left. Like that. Until it pops. And you should be able to just pull the whole assembly out. There's the ball and socket joint. If it will focus here. And there's like that. And then be careful, there's a wire here. There's lots of wires here. Now ours might be a little bit different because there's an extra green wire from yours and that connects to the trailer hitch. But um here should be similar to this without the green wire. But um here are the two bulbs. And then you replace those. The top one is a brake slash parking bulb, and the bottom is a turn signal bulb. Same thing with the other side. All right, you want to reinstall that, reverse the process again. And then, now, time for, now I showed you how to replace most of the bulbs so far on the rear, except for this one. Now this is toolless. What you need to do, it says it right here, to open, you slide it this way. And you have to slide it really, really, really hard. Alright, so, actually, you, you honestly, you really might need two hands for this. Not because, um, not because I'm too weak, it's because it slips back. Like, like, you need to pull it out while you're pushing it to the right. So, um, let's see. The whole point of me having a tripod is so I can do this. Alright.
like that. There we go. Man, the stupid ass tripod. The stupid tripod. But what you need to do, slipping again. The tripod pisses me off. But you slide it to the right and you get your screwdriver before it starts slipping again. And you push it to the right and use the screwdriver and try to pry it open like that. I'm not sure if you saw that. This is a stupid ass tripod. And then you can remove this and the whole bulb comes out with it like that. Now I just showed you how to change every single bulb on the rear. Now, it's time for the front. Now, on the front, I'm not going to show you how to change the parking light bulbs. Because it's going to take forever. You have to remove, actually it's not going to take forever, I just don't want to do it now. You remove this screw. Um, you probably, I haven't taken this apart yet, but you probably have to remove this grill. Like undo all these to remove the headlight. And you should be able to pop it out. Probably with the ball and socket joint right here. But that's probably, that's how you change the par parking light bulbs or the turn signal bulbs. Alright. So to change the headlight, you remove the rubber weather seal, or you can remove the cable first. Now the bulb, I'll once again list it on the um, description, but I'm pretty sure it's a 9003. That's the same exact bulb as a HB2 or a H4. And then it's a 60 high beam or 55 watt low beam bulb. But um, you remove this little cable. All you have to do is pull it straight out, this, and then remove the rubber weather seal. Now, on this side, it's a little bit more tricky, but this is the air intake right here. It sucks in the air right here. So what you have to do is remove, oh, that wasn't even put in all the way. There we go easy remove this plastic uh, screw oh wow that's hard you might want to use pliers uh, I can't get that out but you remove that and it's the same exact process as that once you get it removed it's just a little bit tighter and there you go and that's how you replace all the bulbs or except for the parking light bulbs and the fog lights if you have that option on the 99 through 2004 Odyssey.